You know, it's been more than a month since the end of the COVID era policy known as Title 42. It allows U.S. officials to turn away migrants at the border for public safety reasons. And while many stories have been told about border crossers and the reasons they do it, there is one group that faces unique challenges when it comes to crossing and seeking asylum. You are basically a secret, kind of like the, the one that no one wants to talk about. Shaley Quinones says she knew from a young age growing up in Guatemala she was gay and also knew how dangerous that could be there. You were bullied, uh, harassed, and raped. There are currently no protections for LGBTQ plus communities in Guatemala, and that's one of the reasons Shaylee wanted to come to the U.S. and crossed when she was just 16 years old. But right away, she found life in the U.S. was not as she had dreamed. It was very rough. It was um, a lot of discrimination towards how I looked. According to the Williams Institute at UCLA, there are roughly 267,000 undocumented LGBTQ plus migrants living in the U.S. And they may not know where to turn. That's where organizations like Transqueer Pueblo in Phoenix can really help. What the United States and our governments and our policymakers and lawmakers do here um, is affecting Latin America. And I think it's all connected. Sonix Flores is a coordinator with Transqueer Pueblo and says the organization offers many resources for LGBTQ plus migrants, like legal advice, a post-attention place to stay, and even health care. And we also provide hormones. So if, if you're an undocumented person who's trans and you're looking for um, resources, we, we offer those services. That help can be a lifeline since sometimes LGBTQ plus migrants don't have family to rely on. We have less connection to like, let's say like family members because sometimes uh, again, transphobia, homophobia that exists in the United States and in Latin America. Now to pay it forward, Shaley is helping with the letter writing program to those LGBTQ plus members stuck in detention centers just like she was years ago. I once well, needed or wanted that kind of support, even just a letter would have made me feel a lot better. Now, there have been controversies surrounding how ICE does handle detention for LGBTQ plus members, including a disproportionate amount in solitary confinement. There have been calls to address the inequities there. In the meantime, Democratic lawmakers did introduce a bill earlier this year to have the feds meet certain criteria in order to detain vulnerable migrants, including LGBTQ plus communities.